Hi guys, welcome back. This week we're going to be doing some rust repair and uh, just some general tidying up on these wings and hopefully getting the lower sill welded in or at least half welded in. Anyway, enough talking, let's get straight into it. Now I know you haven't seen these yet, but I've had these for about two years now. <laughs> it's probably the worst kept secret, but I do have a pair of RS arches. They're not in the greatest shape, but that's what we're gonna go and sort out now. Uh, there's a couple of rust patches because hashtag forged rust, and, um, but it shouldn't be too much issue to uh, repair them. It's only a couple of little patches and a bit of uh, rust treatment but first thing i need to do is get the inner arch liner off the uh this wing so let me show you that so in here we have a rear arch liner you can see uh the double lip there so that's where it uh that, that's the two separate pieces of metal and here look so you can separate these like that uh, but they are spot welded along here there's one and the other one, I don't know. I might have to take some of the uh, paint off here to find it, but it'll probably be around there somewhere. Either way, uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Spot weld, drill a bit back out again, and, um, oh, is that it? Maybe? Maybe. Either way, I'll take this off. <laughs> right, here's the inner arch. Uh, there was only two um, spot welds holding it on on that inner uh, lip. It's got all this uh, dead, oh, crusty stuff on it for seam sealing, I assume. Oh. Holy moly, <laughs> there ain't much left for that. Um, yeah, but basically this is this is the bit I need. Uh, when I say this is the bit I need, this is actually the bit I need. These bits were off the car that the these wings were uh, donated from. So basically, I need to go down each one of these spot welds and drill them out so I can actually pull separate this junk from the inner wing piece that I need. So I'm going to crack on with that and hopefully uh, it will all separate. done I cut the end off here because the rest of it was pretty much all rust <laughs> that is rotten I probably could have cleaned it up but there's like there's no point <laughs> I'll just um, I'll just remake this bit and uh, fit it to the car 
So yeah, that's knackered. But this is pretty savable. All of this is solid despite all of the paint and protection missing on the back. Um, all the lip is fairly solid. I just need to extend it. And uh, next I need to clean up these uh, spot welds. Right, before I get into uh, major repairs on this wing and cleaning it all up and um, cutting it to size, what I need to do is on the bottom here, uh, that's where it meets the sill of a standard focus. And if I flip this over, I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, the remnants of the old focus wing there. Now they are um, spot welded or, or, or brazed on in specific places. So all I need to do is drill out the uh, brazed spot weld places. Give it a trim on the edge and then hopefully it'll be able to fit up onto the car so I can measure the tops uh, on the car to see if they fit properly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna clean these up to try and find out where the spot welds are and um, and then get the drill out and the grinder and cut it, cut it flat. Show you close up. You can actually see the grey spots. So I'm going to drill them out and you can probably just about make out there's a brazed line down the side as well. I'm just going to cut the glove off. I'm going to cut as close as I can to the edge there so I'm not sacrificing any of the wing. I'm just taking off the braised piece because there's no way I'm gonna desolder that. So drill these out and there's some up here as well and then cut a nice straight piece off the wing. Right, now that that's cut, this should, um, these should peel away. If not, I might have to cut a bit more. Um, I don't know, see how it goes. <laughs> Well, that sort of went to plan and didn't go to plan. <laughs> These come out okay. Uh, nothing that can't be tapped out. These, oh well, I know I've got a repair down here anyway, but um, it would have been nice if these hadn't ripped. And uh, I know it's probably the, uh, the gorilla on the hammer, but. So now that all that's off, we can put it on the car and uh, start lining it up, putting some Clicos in there and um, uh, I don't know, let's see, let's find out what I can do. <laughs> Done. <laughs> just just a, a few wells to do. <laughs> but it's looking good. Uh, I need to cut in the right place here now and in the right place up here. And it should go on properly as well as sorting the bottom up, but we'll come to that in a bit. Right, let me show you around. Um, it's only being held in by one clamp at the moment because I need to buy more. And look at, oh, look at, they, are they babies? Ah, oh, they're babies. Anyway, I've uh, I've trimmed this up 
to fit. I've trimmed this up to fit. Uh, these need, uh, I need to put some Clicos in here and I need to bash these down so I can, uh, they can be welded properly to the, um, the frame or the skin. Um, we've got a, <coughs> we've got a rust patch to fix. We've got the lower sill to fix, uh, after we've done the front part of the lower sill. Uh, we've got to sort this transition out. I'll show you how to do that uh, next. Well, no, I'll tell you what. First, we're going to do the um, under sill. Then I'll show you the transition because I need the full sill there. So we're going to do that next. Then we'll show you the tra I'll show you the transition. Um, the door bits line up once it gets pushed in that little bit, which we're reliant on this to be. Um, we need this transition for that to line up, basically. So that's that. And then these, when they're pulled in properly, they've, they're uh, ripe for the welding. Other than that, it's just, uh, we've got to sort the inner arch out, which is up there. That's what I cut out earlier, uh, but we'll come to that once I've sorted the lower sill out. Honestly, there's not that much difference and uh, it does seem to be a fairly easy swap. It's just, uh, you have to pay the RS tax. That's the, that's the biggest problem with these parts. Thankfully, I have those ones really, really cheap. So, um, and that's why I've been holding on to them for so long. <laughs> but yeah, that's both sides on now. I'm showing you the other side because uh, that was my test side. <laughs> but both sides are fine. Uh, the first side, I was my practice side. I just learned how to do it. Uh, it all looks fine. It's all great. But I'm showing you what I'm doing on this side. It also means I don't show you the same thing multiple episodes at a time. So I can crack on with one side. I can show you the other side while it's filming. And uh, you don't get, I don't know, four weeks of dragged out me fitting arches to a car. <laughs> Right, back on the floor. Uh, I need to take this uh, fancy strip off, just get a knife under there and it will come off. Uh, clean this edge up and then cut this sill to fit. So this actually fits over here a bit, like that. So I need to line it up. I need to cut it uh, roughly roughly here, all the way down, we can dispose of the back, and then, uh, oh, and then uh, cut it along here somewhere, and then we'll see if we can fit it back up after fitting it under here, because I'm not using this, as there's nothing wrong with this bit here. So, yeah, cut this down here, fit it up, cut it along, start again. Cut it down here, cut it along here, fit it up without this in, uh, without the rear wing in, and then trim it so I can weld them both together. And um, once the bottom bit's done, we can put the rear arch back on and see where it sits exactly then. And then we'll use the back end to fix the bottom of this uh, clearly rotten before rear sill. And I don't have to be fussy because all of this ends up under the rear arch anyway. So I'm just going to cut this there, cut it down, probably along that line there-ish. And um, 
See if it fits. Okay, from that massive skirt, I end up with this. <laughs> so realistically, all I've got to do now is cut, I think these are over panels. They're meant to go over um, the standard stuff. Not join up to the standard stuff. I don't think they're repair panels. I was sold a pup. <laughs> I mean, I can work. I can make them work. I made the other side work, so hopefully, uh, this goes a bit better. This one seems to be a bit further off than the other one, though. Something I do need to do is is put the door in, so I can actually make sure that this sill. Uh, hasn't dropped or, or lifted or anything so I'm going to have to put the door on at some point um, I wanted to do that tonight but I don't think I'm going to have time this is really annoying
Right, there we go. New solid piece of metal, or two new solid pieces of metal. Um, it's not ideal. I still got to fill in this little bit under here, but I'm going to take the wing off to do that. And then on the wing, it's only this little bit left that's uh, crusty, so I'll just go and replace that now. Uh, so I'm going to pull the wing off, replace that bit, and um, fix this bit. And then this wing is all good. This wing is also all good. Um, I've already done inside there. There is a small bit under here that needs to be fixed, but uh, that's just a, a quick buzz up with the weld. Uh, and then both of them down down these seams. Uh, I can't open the boot in a minute because I haven't got a key. But both of them down these seams have damage to the uh, sort of bits that get welded to the car. So I'll um, I'll fix them while they're off as well. And that'll do for another one. <laughs> Smashing these episodes out now. Uh, hopefully you're happy that we've got a uh, a weekly dose of the Flexus. Have to say it's nice to um, be getting quite a fair bit of work done on it. Uh, Lockdown is uh, lockdown on a week off work is giving me plenty of time to do stuff. So at least things are moving on. Never know, I might finish it one day. <laughs> In the meantime, you know the drill: like and subscribe. Follow me on all these social media platforms. Give me a like and subscribe over there, and follow me, and uh, join in on the debate on what colour we're going to paint the car. It's quite a way out yet, but eventually we're going to have to make some sort of decision on what colour we want. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> Either way, that's it for this week. See you guys next week. Ciao.